In this video, the ESP8266 controller is programmed as a web server, sending to and receiving from a web page variable data. A diagram of the implemented system is shown here. Connected to the ESP8266, we have some I.O. peripherals. A push button is connected to a digital pin. A pot is connected to the analog input pin and a LED is connected to another digital pin. The 8266 is programmed as a web server, transmitting and receiving data from clients or web pages from a browser. The values generated by the potentiometer is continuously sent to the client browser and displayed on a web page. Also, the status of the push button is continuously checked and sent to another page and displayed. Finally, this last page will have a link when clicked will toggle this LED at the microcontroller side. Let's have a look at the code used in this project. We need to include these libraries in the sketch to enable the 8266 to establish a web server communicating with the clients uh, over Wi-Fi. And also we declare a pointer server that will communicate with the internet using port 80. Next we include this uh, file functions.h which is uh, this tab here. Uh, these functions execute the client requests and they will be explained uh, later on. Now these, uh, this file functions.h must be in the same folder where your sketch is. Using two string pointers, the network name and the password of the router is stored. And using these credentials, the block of statements here, use the SSID and the password to establish a connection with the internet and then provide a local IP address. Here we have four function calls. The first one will call the function handle root whenever the IP address is inserted in the web browser and the second function pot is called whenever we insert the IP address slash POT and the third button is uh, called when uh, we insert the IP address slash button and this uh, LED function is called when we put the IP address slash LED. The server begins and the HTTP communication between the server and the client is initiated and within the loop function the server continuously scans and looks for any client requests. Inside function handle root the server will send an HTML code to the main page of the IP address and this is the HTML code which displays some text as seen here. On the web browser when we insert the IP address slash pot this function will be called which will enable the server to send another HTML code inside this string pot underscore val. String pot value will have the values uh, supplied by the potentiometer through analog input A0 and also will have this HTML code which will refresh the page and also add a background color specified by this uh, hexy value here which gives you the color yellow. On the web browser if we insert the IP address slash button then this function will be called and the server will send an HTML code which is inside this string button value. Now here button value is updated by checking the status of the switch. If the switch is not pressed then button value will have the text button off. Otherwise if the switch is pressed then button value will have the text button on. And also button value will have this piece of HTML code which will refresh the uh, page and also add a color to the background and in this case it's light blue. Finally when we insert the IP address slash LED then this function will be executed and the server will send this uh, HTML code 
which is a hyperlink on the page. When this link is clicked, then uh, a signal is sent back to the microcontroller to execute this instruction, which will toggle the LED. And now for a quick demonstration. We entered the IP address uh, on the web browser, and now we are at the main page. And now we go to the next page and note how the potentiometer value is changing. And also note that the page is continuously being refreshed. On this next page, see how pressing the button changes the status of the switch. On this next page, clicking on the link will toggle the LED status. In a future project, the ESP8266 will be programmed to show on a single page a weather station, which will display temperature, humidity, pressure, and elevation.